Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be setting up a new coffee bar station here where this water tank is. Um, the water tank doesn't work anymore, so we decided to go ahead and get rid of it. Um, we're going to get just a basic Brita pitcher to put into the fridge, and then we're going to set up this accent cabinet here in place of that. So this accent cabinet I purchased off of Amazon. Um, I got it about a week ago. It was only $129 on Amazon, and I'll have the link down below for it. Uh, but we're setting up this accent cabinet so we can move my coffee bar from the kitchen onto here, and then that will free up counter space and cabinets that we can reorganize the kitchen and make it a little bit more functional for our needs. Okay, here is my current setup. I'm gonna move all of these decorations over to the old coffee bar setup here. And I'm gonna keep the counter space clear of anything because I'd like to leave it empty so when I'm cooking with my slow cooker or my Instapot, I can place it there. It won't be under any cabinets for direct heat. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take out all of my coffee mugs, all of my coffee supplies. That way I can move it to the accent cabinet. Down below, I'm going to move the Tupperware up to where these coffee mugs are coming out of. And down below where the Tupperware was, right here, I'm going to put in, well, I'm not, my husband's going to install a trash kit so that way the trash can can be inside the cabinet and can slide out whenever we need it. My husband's also gonna add some shelving above the accent cabinet for the coffee bar. While he's doing that, I'm organizing the Tupperware up into the um, cabinets. I have my small Tupperware in the blue basket and I also have the lids to all the Tupperware in another blue basket that you'll see there. <laughs> and um, I have my small Tupperware up there, trash cans coming in here. And then I moved my big Tupperware off to the side, you'll see down below. Um, right here where I organized this um, this cabinet as well. Let your hand 
feelings, I'm focused, I'm open, I want it, you need it, you're leaving, don't make me pay for it. Okay, here on the shelving in the baskets, I have on the left hot cocoa, in the middle flavored hot cocoa, and to the right I had sweet tea. Here underneath the Keurig, I have the dark roast, I have medium roast in the middle, and then I have light roast and decaf off to the side. And then all of my extra coffee pods, hot cocoa, sweet teas, anything are here in this drawer. And then I also have um, spoons, extra straws, extra candies here in that drawer. I keep the straws in this little container here, um, but that's what I have in the shelving there. I have my Splenda packets here in this container and then my sugar. Uh, down below on the uh, shelving, I put all of my coffee mugs here. I put my most used or my favorite coffee mugs here in the front. Um, and then I also put my husband's coffee mugs um, right next to mine. I also have my tumblers there on the side. And then down below on the bottom shelf, I put all of my husband's travel coffee mugs, uh, tumblers. And then of course our his and hers right in the front. Um, I put my tea box here. I do drink tea, I don't drink it as often as coffee, uh, but I do drink my tea the English way, so I do use cream and sugar with my tea. Um, I put my teacups behind there, and then I have some frappuccino glasses, cups that I put back there, and then um, a couple of other mason jar style cups um, just in the back. After I set this up, my husband went ahead and installed the trash can kit here in the cabinet. He said it was super easy. He got it at Home Depot. I believe it was $30. And so he installed that for me. And that was it. We organized the counter spaces, cleared up the counter space, installed the trash can, moved the coffee bar, organized the Tupperware. And that is what we did for this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys. Bye.